Merch Light Presents Merch Light Super Hearts Defenders of the World Protectors of all of the innocent Fighting against evil Decepticons And other villains from around the world. Full Prime and his amazing friends. Kamikan Nukers Wuborn. Oh. Hello Director Lion, didn't expect you two to come here, it's a pleasure meeting with you both. I've got an important question for both of you. Why is that Drizzle in some sort of containment chamber? After Faravar sent some sort of radioactive shockwave around the globe, people from every country begin to develop mutated powers which we can't explain with regular science. Those people who got powers from that radioactive wave are called unexplained superpowered individuals or U.S.I.s. This drizzle named Trista Van Dyke, or by his codename Subject There Is Nuzarus, is from Pretoria in northern South Africa. The Afrikaner developed super strong claws after the wave, and after we received reports from the locals, we captured him hunting some zebras in southern Botswana. We are working on an identification system to level and scale the power of these U.S.I.s. But we are here to talk about something different. We have decided to reincarnate the long since disbanded group called the Kamikaze Nukers. We have some captured villains and evil doors that will do high risk missions to reduce their prison sentences. We will also give them a nickname, Strike Team Judas, just in case if those villains try to go rogue. We implanted microchips in their brains which will cause them to go into a temporary paralysis. We have the members of Strike Team Judas ready to go. They are ready to be on their first mission. Here they are. Listen up Strike Team Judas. Yes sir. We have selected you eight because we have found out that we could teach some of you troublemakers some respect by sending you all on a suicide mission. Not just a dummy now am I? Not just a dummy now am I? Not just a dummy now am I? Uh, we will be sending you all to North Korea. Your first mission will be a reconnaissance mission since there are rumors out there that North Korea has stolen Weaver Tech technology and merged it with their current tech to create a new suit for their warrior called Silver Pulgazer. Can we send T-400 Terminators to help us? Hmm, let me think. Sure you can. Does anyone else have any questions? All right, but where's Mutant Poe when you need him? He might be busy sometimes, so don't expect him to help. We expect some of you will die on this mission. It will be a miracle if all of you survive this first mission. Good luck. Alright, we are going to watch something that will make you laugh your pants off, literally. So, what is the thing we are going to watch which is gonna make us laugh our pants off? <laughs> Carl Weezer's dream. I wonder what his dreams look like. Carl Weezer has became the new Superman. All right, take my picture. Excuse me, sir, but you're interrupting my picture. Explain why are you trying to become Superman? I'm the strong cape flying hero here, not you. Why would you roast the face of Dinoko? Besides, um, you wouldn't hurt me, right? You will fear me. Did you start being North Korea's new leader? But you're from Sweden, so I might be wrong. I think I made you a bit mad. I am sorry that I cosplayed as Superman and made fun of you and the other Superman lookalikes. Please forgive me. Why you little? No, calm down, spare me. If you could be calmed before, you could be calmed again. I will teach you respect. Kraft Scrabani has become rogue. This is the best day of my life. The clothes from me. Gah, I didn't expect Craft Score Bunny to go rogue in my dreams. So, what did you think? It might be a bit terrifying, but we all still are. It's kinda fun seeing someone's good dream go horribly wrong all of a sudden. It's like an Night Shyamalan plot twist. I am glad it made you guys laugh. And let's hope that Craft Score Bunny does not go rogue or just like in the dream.
We're here. Thank goodness we did not get shot down. So where is the evil building? Right over there. Let's go. So, is Mutant Poe training more troops to defeat Decepticons in funny ways? He's called Poe Prime now, Pete. Oh, sorry Whipple. I though Merc became Mutant Poe again when the news found out that Poe is back. You plays are Decepticon scum. You're like going ham on those guys. I am a bit surprised. I don't want to have us lose focus. We've got a job to do. Well done, Stinky. You all should have done that. Uh oh. You all died. Hail to the supreme leader. <laughs> Not just a dummy now, am I? It's collective reflection. You all pay for that. The guards will kill you all. We have T-400s to help us, you know? Well, North Korea seemingly has endless amounts of troops, so we'd better run. Roger, roger! You know, when I said I would increase the variety in our army, it was not only talking about weapons, but also troopers. Let's start off the machine gunner. Is there anything would you like to say about it? It's perfect for regular troops to go alongside our existing ones. But that's not all. It comes with an assault rifle, because they're machine gunners, and battle pistols for close range combat and burst rifles for sniping missions and assassinations. Wow. They look like buffed up Decepticon soldiers. They also come in purple, magenta, cyan, and white. There is a lot of color variations, even though Elixels don't like color. We accept your opinion on colors. You know. Galvatron wants to have variety in his army. And I almost forgot the Protectors, there are the guards of the Decepticon army and Protector officers and other high-ranking officials. Most of their bodies have a purple glow and they are equipped with burst rifles and battle pistols. They are pretty nice. I think I would want some Protectors guarding me just in case an Autobot tries to assassinate me. Then we have the Rocketeer, the biggest of our standard soldiers. They have slightly better memory than the machine gunner and have rocket launches that explode on impact and destroy everything including tanks. Interesting, variety is key. I am impressed that you managed to create so many variants of the Decepticon soldier. Thank you. And the final standard soldier is the shotgunner. They carry shotguns and regenerating Evershield that make them very dangerous if faced in close combat. They also have throwable grenades. What is your review, General? They are amazing. They will all be useful in combat. We also have them with T-shaped visors and a white variant. So, are they the same but with different colors? Correct. Our first special soldier is the Cloaker. They wouldn't be Cloakers if they can't turn invisible. And they carry powerful plasma cannons which can melt through a lot of material. What's your review on the Cloaker? Pretty sneaky, great for stealth. Great. Then we have our Jet Troopers, the Seekers. They have minikins, can hover in the air, turn into jets, and can do bombing runs. How good are they for aerial combat? Alright, all of my bots also fit those roles. I still approve. Finally, we have the Brute, the tank of the new Decepticon forces. It can overpower most targets and is the strongest of the new Decepticons. Wow. Are their Decepticons even stronger than the Brute? Yes there are. I got a surprise for you. What's the surprise? Follow me. Behold. The Tank Destroyer and the Decepticon Super Titan. They are the giants of the Decepticon army and they handle large targets which cannot be handled by smaller Decepticons. Destroyers have grenade launchers that will explode on impact, rapid fire nuclear and shock cannons, and can create shock waves. And the Super Titan is the largest of the new Decepticon forces. It has blades on its arms, a claw, a buzzer, and grenade launchers on its shoulders. What do you think about them? I think I like them more, pretty huge warriors. I agree, you are pretty good at making new types of soldiers. Same here. They're so beautiful. We will use these to murder poor people and maintain order. <laughs> ah, bored. Why do I have to guard this guy in the chamber? It could have been anyone else, but why me? Why do I all of a sudden have a feeling of fear behind my back?
Nobody shall contain me ever again. But boy, it's good to escape and see the sun again. Looks like I have to flee to a nearby town and blend in with the local population. I've just got to hide my powers, that's it. It's a village. I hope nobody is suspicious of me.